morning. From Scripture, we learn of the miracle of restoration. You who have made me see many troubles and calamities will revive me again. The earth, you will bring me up again. You will increase my greatness and comfort me again. Secretary Hagel, General Dempsey, members of our armed forces, and most of all, the survivors who bear the wounds of that day and the families of those we lost. It is an honor to be with you here again to remember the tragedy of 12 Septembers ago, to honor the greatness of all who responded, and to stand with those who still grieve, and to provide them some measure of comfort once more. Together we pause and we give humble thanks as families and as a nation for the strength and the grace that Despair has brought us up again, again, has given us strength to keep we pray for the memory of all those taken from us, nearly 3,000 innocent souls. Our hearts still ache for the futures snatched away, the lives, the parents who would have known the joy of being grandparents, the fathers and mothers who would have known the pride of a child's graduation, the sons and daughters who would have grown, maybe married, and been blessed with children of their own, and those beautiful boys and girls just beginning to find their way who today would have been teenagers and young men and women looking ahead, imagining the mark they'd make on the world. They left this earth slipped from our grasp, but it was written, what the heart has once owned and had, it shall never lose. What your families lost in the temporal, in the here and now, is now eternal. The pride that you carry in your hearts, the love that will never die your loved one's everlasting place in America's heart. We pray for you, their families, who have known the awful depths of loss, and in the quiet moments we've spent together and from the stories that you've shared, I'm uh, amazed at the will that you've summoned in your lives to lift yourselves up and to carry on and to live and love and laugh again. Even more than memorials of stone and water, your lives are the greatest tribute to those that we lost for their legacy shines on in you. When you smile just like him, when you toss your hair just like her, when you foster scholarships and services